Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What's happening in fourth grade and welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. We're going to get ready to rock and roll, so make sure that you have your worksheet. If you don't have your worksheet, check the link below. It'll take you to a place where you can download the worksheet for this episode and the other episodes in the Math FSA fourth grade boot camp series. So go ahead and take this opportunity to pause the video, show all your thinking, show your journey on paper, and then come on back to check your work and see how you did, okay? Welcome back fourth grade. Okay, so real quick, we're gonna take a look at the question type first. You know how we do. We always take a peek at the problem and guess that question type. I'm seeing four answer choices. So what kind of question do you think this is going to be? A multiple choice. I think that's a brilliant guess. Let's go ahead and read the question carefully now and mark up our text. So which number rounds? Rounding? I love rounding. Which number rounds to 850,000 when rounded to the nearest 10,000? So what we need to do is take all of these answer choices and go through them. We're going to round them to the nearest 10,000. So here's choice A, 844,378. I am going to use the rounding wrap that I use in the McCarthy Math 155 series. Now I'm not going to teach you the rounding wrap here, I'm just going to use it. If you do, if you're like, oh my gosh, I love the rounding wrap, where can I get more of this? Well, don't worry, because I've created a website that has videos that will break it down. It's unit to more on that later though so stay tuned okay so here's my rounding wrap here's how I do it um, by the way if your teacher or you are very comfortable with a different way to round that is totally fine as long as you're getting the answer right okay but this is the way I do it and it's always cool to be exposed and to learn from other people so here's what I do so we're rounding to the ten thousands place here we go when you round find and underline the place what place the ten thousands place Spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. That's four or less, so we just keep it the same. Keep our rounding place the same. Everything before, drop it down, and everything after becomes zero. Check me out now, I'm the rounding hero. So when we rounded choice A, we got 840,000, not 850,000. So what can we do with choice A? Eliminate. Let us try choice B, okay? 845,123. One, two, three. When you round, find and underline the place. Spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. This is five or more, so we add one to the running place. Let's take care of that right here 
right now. What is four plus one? Five. Everything before, drop it down, and everything after becomes zero. Check me out now. I'm the rounding hero. So we did it. We got to 850,000. We're pretty sure it's B, so I'm going to put a question mark and uh, not even worry about checking C and D because I know it's B. Is that a wise thing to do? No, maybe I made a mistake. Let me go and check the other ones too. Here's A. Here's B. Let me try C right here. 855,084. When you round find and underline the place, spotlight to the right, decide the digit's fate. So what's gonna happen to this digit? Let's decide its fate. This is five or more, so we add one to the rounding place. We're gonna take care of that right here, right now. What is five plus one? Six. Everything before, drop it down, drop my eight down, and everything after becomes zero. It's 860. I'm a rounding hero. Eliminate. 857 is greater, so I'm pretty sure it's going to round up. Let's try it. When you round, find and underline the place. Spotlight to the right, decide the digit's fate. This is five or more, so we add one to the rounding place let's take care of that right here right now five plus one is six everything before drop it down and everything after become zero this is wrong i'm a rounding hero so what's our final answer b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b Number two, take a look at the question type. Here, this is like a matching item question. We have to match these guys here. So let's put matching item to match the columns with the correct row. This says that each original number, that's right there, has been rounded. Yay, I love rounding to a new number right here. Determine whether the original number has been rounded to the nearest hundred or the nearest thousand. So which answer choice is it? Okay. So that means that our original number was 9,081. Did we round to the nearest hundred or the nearest thousand to get 9,000. Well, let's do both. Let's round to the nearest 100 first. When you round, find and underline the place. Spotlight to the right, decide the digit's fate. That's five or more, so we add one to the rounding place. Let's take care of that right here, right now. That would be zero plus one is one. Everything before, drop it down, and everything after becomes zero. Check me out now. I'm the rounding hero. But we need it to be 9,000, so it's not to the nearest hundred. It's probably going to be B. Find and underline the place, spotlight to the right, decide the digit's fate. This would be, this is four or less, so we just keep it the same. Everything after B comes zero. Check me out now, I'm the rounding hero. So our answer would be A or B. B. Good. All right, we've got 21,882. It rounds to the to 900 because it's the number changed in the hundreds place. Let's try that one first. I'm pretty sure that's it. When you round, find and underline the place. Spotlight to the right, decide the digit's fate. This is five or more, so we add one to the rounding place and take care of that right here, right now. Eight plus one is nine. Everything before, drop it down. Everything after B comes zero. Check me out now. I'm the rounding hero. It would be 100. But I'm going to prove it by going to the nearest thousand. Boom. Add one. It would be 22,000. So that is not what the new number was. So it is not D. All right, for the last one, let me get some paper. We've got. <laughs> We have 
feel like I have a hair in my face. Okay. We have 138,944, and the new number is 139,000. Let's round it to the nearest 100 and see what we get. When you round, find and underline the place, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate, that's four or less, so we just keep it the same. Everything before, drop it down, and everything after becomes zero. Check me out now, I'm the rounding hero. That's not what it is though. We need it to be 139,000, so it's not to the nearest hundred. Let's prove that it's to the nearest thousand. When you round, find, and underline the place, the thousands place, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate, that's five or more, so we add one to the rounding place. Take care of that right here, right now. Eight plus one is nine. Everything before, drop it down, and everything after becomes zero. It is F, I'm the rounding hero. Okay. So that's how you do it. So go ahead, if you need to rewind and make any corrections that you need to make, please do that. That's called taking charge of your learning. In fact, taking charge of your learning is a huge game changer when it comes to mastering math skills. So if you know that you need some more practice with rounding, let me point you in the right direction. The first place I'd like to send you is to McCarthy Math 155. There's a link below. And you're going to want to check out Unit Nope, it's not unit two, it's unit one. <laughs> unit two is adding and subtracting, unit one is place value with rounding. Okay, so McCarthy Math 155 is a game changing program. In just 15 minutes a day, you have pretty much one video for every day of the school year. Tons of teachers and students and schools and districts are using this. Now this is a membership, so in order to see the videos, you have to be a member. However, there is a seven day free trial just for you. So if you know that you need practice with rounding, please go snatch up that free trial, watch those rounding videos and make a master out of yourself, a rounding master. Wah! Now, if you would like some more FSA types of problems, I'm also going to include the same standard that we did here in the How to Pass the Math FSA series that I created back in 2016. Now, this was back when the test was a computer-based test. It's not anymore, and therefore, some of the questions they don't reflect the current version of the FSA. Still great practice because it's standards based, but you just have to keep that in mind. Check that out, link below. I will also link, I'm also going to link my social media platforms. That way you can stay in the know with everything that I'm creating and throwing out into the world. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. I'm on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. And thank you so much for being here on YouTube. If you are watching this from YouTube. If you could smash that like button, that would be awesome because really I have a mission to help as many students as I can. And when you hit that like button, it helps me to reach other students. So I really do appreciate you taking the time to do that. Also, when you want to know when I drop new videos, make sure that you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And finally, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice and you always have the choice, choose kindness. And I will see you all on the next episode.